Hey everyone, so we're going to continue doing the Feywild, and I took level 8, and we changed some things for level 8 questing based on the level 7 questing and it, how difficult some of the quests were. We died in one of them. Uh, I decided to sort of redo. So at level 8, we took Utter Dark Blast. So now we are using Chain Shape with Utter Dark Blast. We have Feigned Health and we have Strong Pact going. And I was able to put one point in Bewitching Blast. That's going to help us with our CC. And over here, because I hit level 8, I was able to equip one of Mary's rings. So this is one of Mary's rings. This is a ring that I make for myself. For, for Mary, it's always the same. It's sheltering with spell resistance. And then I try to find a double slot. This is on an old ring that I had that had a green slot on it. I don't think green slots on random gen items drop anymore unless they're double slotted. But maybe you've seen one. I haven't seen one. Anyway, so this ring, Mary's ring, is sheltering 12, spell resistance 14. And then the green slot is a topaz of fear immunity that means that i was able to drop reality bulwark even though i love to have that because it gives me an extra plus three on my saving throws i switched things up a little because i wanted to raise the dc on my color spray so i switched out the gloves of tranquility for the dead ringers dead ringers give me profane spell focus plus one so that will raise my DC a little and what I did then is because I lost blur from the gloves of tranquility I added when I took the points out of this I added bend light which is blur from the fade arc illusionist tree we still are using you've got my back for the magic missile immunity and we are getting the other bonuses from this tree here so you can see the build the racial action points are spent and they give me nothing is hidden which allows me to see to find certain low level traps and secret doors and things like that and you can see my prr is 84 my armor class is 74 my charisma is 40. i also swapped out the fjarlin mirror cloak for the cloak of winter which is going to help us mitigate some of the damage that the champions do to us because it will put temporary hit points, 100 temporary hit points on us when we get hit. So we are going to go snow side. And I always navigate Slayer zones like this, especially on Hardcore League. I will invis myself and then mount up and what this does is it allows you to ride invisible now i've had people say to me hey uh you know your your horse is still visible they can see the horse well i'm not so sure i think the game treats us as invisible now we know from experimenting that invisibility does not work but you see those those um, birds pop the eyeball, so I don't think, even though the horse is not made invisible, I don't think the horse is visible. I think that the horse is part of our sprite, or whatever the right way to say that is in video game lingo, and that we are flagged as invisible. I don't think the horse is visible, and we're invisible on the horse, and they just see a horse riding by. I think as far as all mobs are concerned, we are invisible. And I believe, yeah, you see how we pop the little eyeballs over their heads? Uh, if they pop the eyeballs, that just means that they notice that they've made a spot check and they notice and they're going to just a few likely steps. investigate, which, in you know, is kind of BS. But like we were talking about in the last video that... Sure, they changed magic. invisibility to work based off a of spot and listen, and most monsters can hear you, so they can find you that way. 
So invisibility really doesn't, what it does is it prevents them from having a distant spot check success. You have to get close to them and then they will notice you, but it works for this. If you are in a group and you're on hardcore league and you don't want to be caught in a red alert, now in the new purple alert, everything gains okay, true seeing, so the invisibility fine. would work. Home to the I question why they did that, because it seems to me that they're the trying to punish people who aren't trolling by allowing people to troll, but at fine palace. Home who knows? The Prince of Frost's vassals. You proceed with caution. Whether you're expected by the so we enter not, and we talk to her, and then she wants us to go out and talk to the genie on the balcony. The crowded in order for us to do that, we need to access two However, levers. One of them is down and one of them is up, so we will do down first. Chills, the points a finger towards you. Why have you disturbed me with the first presence? one is in the cellar, Our and commander. it's... The head waiter, if you have says the, Baroness, a connection in the, summer court the allure skill the arrival, to persuade him to him. open the door, well, you, they will not he will. Uh, but in this door, there are monsters, so we are going to buff up. Avoiding the crowd somewhere, perhaps out on the windward balcony. The head waiter explains that Osha told him not to allow anyone into the treasure vault. Break these barrels. However, you're able to persuade the goblin to unlock the door for you. Okay. And now we have to be ready for a fight, so I'm going to color spray right away. The the throw web. Famine Reaper, I'm going to Dark Delirium. And color spray. Hopefully, everything can be... Okay. So there is a secret door here and a chest behind it. You can... the my elf abilities found it. But it's locked. I could pop Frago. So you can do a couple of things. You can dimension door back. You could run back. Or... The easiest way is to just click on this painting, step through, and it takes you to right behind the painting that's behind the throne. That's the easiest way to navigate this quest. So that's what we're going to do to make it go quickly and easily. Here we go in, take a left, open this door. There's going to be a fight. We're going to color spray immediately as soon as the door is open and throw another web. And there's a fear reaper. I'm going to back up and get away from it. And now I will charge it as it's starting to put the dot on me. So if the dot isn't on you, you can move away from them. But once the dot appears on you, Fear itself, then you have to get close to it and deal with it. Otherwise, the dot will just you burn you up. In the So there's that lever, and here's the painting. We just click it, and we wind up behind the throne again. Painting, and now we have to go to the balcony the and deal with the genie. Through, I'm going to use an allure skill itself. on the genie. If you have diplomacy, I believe bluff works. Intimidate this door also, I think, to the works. If not, it's a fight, and he's pretty tough. You can see that it has been sealed. So switch to my necklace of the glib Atsu. tongue. I upgraded at level 8, the level 8 the version distance. of it. It gives the exceptional allure skills plus 5, joke, insightful allure around, skills plus 5, quality allure skills side. plus 2, and a linguistics 10% bonus. Since I'm charisma based, it greatly helps. So you can do spellcraft, diplomacy, or intimidate. We're gonna do diplomacy. We rolled a 14 and I have a plus 40. That was a success. That's a great. Okay, that we're just gonna break these barrels to get out of here. Of the so garden. we were able to skip the fight. You not to let the true it goes a lot easier if you have a charisma based character like a bard or 
or warlock who can help skip the fight. Now we need to go to the garden and the garden is down the hall, sort of in the middle of the quest. We are going to do this utilizing the paintings and Dimension Door to avoid as many fights as we can. We just want to garden. get in and get out. A peculiar patch of grass so right now, we could Dimension Door and then start with the next phase of the quest. However, at this point, since we just picked up the flower, the I want to sort of continue breaking the barrels to get the bonus since I can do it now without fighting. So it looks like I got all of them. And then we need to come up and up here we need to break this glass that's blocking this door so once we enter from the other side we're not prevented that glass right there because when we come back after we do the next phase we're going to come through this door to get back into the garden it's just easier to do it that way. So we exit. There'll be a shrine here once we're ready to go to the last boss. But for now, no surprise. The ballroom is now covered in twisting vines and familiar flowers. Talk to this noble, and then she told us that we need to go talk to three other nobles. First one is on this side, and this is going to be a fight. Of a bunch of needle blades. If you can web, if you have web. You can also blind them with color spray, although it won't freeze them, but it will blind them. Uh, but the web worked really well. That's the shrine if we need it. First noble is right here. Snowdrift. The snowdrift okay. tells you that Lord Beryl was last seen slinking off. Now we need to go back down to the kitchen. Of wine. Then he shoes you out of this crowd of There's one no fight room. in front of that door. We are going to throw a web. And then color spray. And another web. Just to try to catch everything while we burn it down with chain shape. Notice that the damage from my chain shape now is sonic and evil. Evil is alignment damage. Alignment damage is boosted by light and radiance. So no longer am I using force damage. I'm using radiance and light damage. So I switched the ring that I was using, I am now using the ring of summer heat for the radiance, even though I don't use any fire, I do have radiance. Speaking with her is the next step in solving this plant puzzle. And what I could do, and this is something that I haven't done yet, is check my spell casting. It looks like my illusion is plus 10. If I switch to Morning Lord, I gain 30 light damage spell power, but I lose 3 on my illusion to see. So I'm going to keep my Deep Gnome for now because I want my Color Spray to work on Reapers. I want to make sure that that works. It's very important that the CC, you know, if I'm relying on it to actually CC something, that it works to CC. So this is the optional. Um, we're just going to do it because we have to go up here anyway to speak with the last noble. 
Group so color spray web and if I have to, I can Dark Delirium that champion right in front of us. So the third noble is right here, Dame Allegra. And then what you would do if you, you skip the optional is you go through this painting here or Dimension Door. Back. Most people do the optional fight just because it's good gear out of these, and this particular fight can be done from a safe spot, so I'll show it to you. So this right here is the safe spot. But even in such a bare room, you just have to trigger it. The spout on this fountain turns like a door handle. A secret passage slides open along And the then the wall. giant will appear. Hidden away in this appear. room stands a sculpture of a woman. Its plaque reads. And a whole woman. bunch of monsters. In ice, you survive. We're going to use web on. Hidden a journal inside a sphere of ice. But this is the. I'm in the safe spot. Details memories of his long lost love. Died thousands of years. We would have been attacking the giant the journey, because of chain shape. The along with Let's see if we can get. Yeah, so there it is. We're still damaging him, and any other monsters that we missed off to the side will be hit by chain shape. And he's almost dead. Onto the floor with a heavy thud. Easy peasy. So, nothing in the chest. That is a named loot chest. Now, we could Dimension Door right from here, but if you don't have Dimension Door, there's no need to run back. You just go down the, the stairway to Dame Allegra, and then use that painting that's right next to her, and then you will skip all the fighting, because this is going to warp you to the end where you need to be, there's the Baroness. We need to go up now, and you can use this shrine if you need it, right here, and go through this door. And what happens is, if you're a caster or a ranged DPS, you can, you can fight from right here. If you are anybody else, you Dame fight Allegra from down here. So what I'm going garden. to do is sort she of a trick a low chuckle. where I trigger her and then I'm going to <laughs> Dimension Door back, and then I'm going to chain shape everything from up top, if I can reach it. I think that this is going to work. Yes. So I just need to get up on this ledge here without falling. And then chain shape her from up here. This is because there are a lot of mobs that spawn down there. And it'll just be much easier for me to nuke from up top here. As opposed to running around down below there. Uh, it just, something just hit me for a lot of damage. I'm not sure what it is. Shambling Mound rises to attack. It might be the shambling mount that's throwing thorns at me, so I'm going to heal up. I probably will staunch as well, just because. I would really like a crit on my heal, so it would go a little faster. Okay, there's one. There's two. Nice. There's three in a row. Okay, so, false life, staunch. You know, the way they have this game coded with jump, it, I don't know, some people are really good at jump. I, I constantly bounce. I think it's because I play with an Xbox controller. I'm constantly bouncing off the walls and off of everything else. So we have to go down and pick up that flower. I don't see any mobs. Either we killed them all or they all vanished. Oh, no, they didn't pop because we weren't down there. 
So I just got tripped by that champion and I'm going to throw a web just in case. If I have to, I will staunch again. Okay, so it's not perfect. The you grab the streets the and then this you can the jump back up here or you can detour. Return to the Baroness to tell her what happened. Yes, it's, I think it's the controller. It just makes me bounce a lot. But that's it. We're done. We go, now we go back to her. Though the prince himself and will never admit to it, hopefully we get some loot. He is in your debt. No. Thwarting the night hag scheme. Now but that's that okay. We already have all the loot that we need from the Feywild, but it, you know, it's always nice to get gear because maybe we might get a good Reaper bonus on it. Hey there, thanks for watching. To support the channel and help, please like the video. It also helps a lot with YouTube. If you subscribe to the channel, it will help me to make more content if you do. Uh, another way to support is to donate through my PayPal. If you play DDO or are looking to play Dungeons & Dragons Online Hardcore, there's one place you need to be, and that is my Death Smile Hardcore Discord. It is a Discord community created for players of Hardcore DDO. Everyone is welcome. The server is open to everyone, and we are getting close to a thousand members. On the server, you'll find lots of helpful information and easy access to notes, builds, other players who are looking for groups and who are talking about different quests and how to complete them safely. You may also be a streamer and you can request from me a streamer role and I will give you a streamer rank and a custom channel for you to link your content so viewers can find you. We have discussion channels for all things hardcore, what quests to skip, what quests give the best loot, what builds are good for what, and if you are looking for any help, it is a great place for resources. The link is in the description below.